okay uh, let us start with registration using mvc architecture so for that i will require a registration page that i already created in a project demo mvc fine and uh, why because i'm i'm going to connect with the db2 database server so i have to add my db2 drivers here so these are the basic steps fine so first of all i have to add these drivers for that i can go to c drive program files ibm sql lib java folder here i find these two files just press control and select both copy these files fine then you can go to lib folder under your project web content web inf lib directory right click on that and paste both the files here fine and right click on both the files one by one and add them to your build path so i'll add first file to the build path and i will add second file to the build path fine so both the files are available on my project build path now means i can access these two files and use the classes available into them right then second is a registration page so i'm creating a registration page that will look like this right so for username i'm creating a text field named u name again for password pass we enter password our pass first name our name last name cell name for email email is the field name for security question this is the field name for answer ans is the field name and for phone this phone is the field name so this is my registration page to create this registration page this is the code that anybody can use fine so here you need to take care of this like this should be of type password right and put type is equals to password here and here also we have to give input type is equals to password right so those who are not aware of html they can uh, pause the video anywhere and copy then paste or they can uh, type this particular code when copy this particular code up to this form tag right so starting from the form tag up to this form tag you can copy from this form tag to ending to this start right so as soon as i click on uh, this register it will take me to the page action this is the button right so when i click on this button it it will take me to the page this form action under this action i'm creating this sublet so i'll create a new sublet here <coughs> and why because we are creating it using mvc architecture so i'll create this sublet within a package called controller so i can right click on my project i can go to new then i can go to sublet right so here i can give my package name and here your class name <coughs> you can add all the methods but as we do not require so i am only adding post method right why because we call the post method from here so register sublet is created right so once the sublet is created we have to start with the coding fine so it is again a step by step process so to develop it is using mvc first step is to retrieve all parameters from jsp page fine so for that we usually go for request dot get parameter fine so i'm giving u name as my parameter name here and i'm keeping this in string u name field right similarly i can create it for other parameters like pass or pass f name l name email security question answer and 
phone number at last that is phone right so here i have to change again this should be pass this should be our pass this should be f name this should be l name email security question answer and phone fine so name of these fields must be same as the fields that i kept here so you name pass r pass f name l name email security question answer phone these names i need to give here when i am retrieving the parameters fine so i retrieved all nine parameters here then second step is to set all the values in model class object fine so for that i have to create a model class so i'm creating a model class with a model mbc object name m calling the default constructor right from new right so here it gives a complaint that is what this object or this object cannot be created because this class does not exist so i'll go to create class fine and give the package name here because it is a model class so model is a package name i'll click finish fine so class is created now within this class i want to create some of the variables say string you name similarly i want for password f name l name email security question answer and phone so these are the eight fields are required right then i right click on my code and go to source generate getters and setters for all right so all get and set methods are created model class object is created then i can go for m dot set u name m dot set password fine passing the value of password field m dot set f name fine then m dot set l name m dot set email m dot set security question fine then m dot set answer and m dot set phone number fine so all eight values are set then third step is to call a method in dao class to insert data in table fine so we are going to insert data and whenever we insert data in return we always get integer from execute update method so in dao mvc class i'll call a method called register user fine so here i'm going to pass this model class object and sql in sql <coughs> i'll give my sql statement which will be the insert statement this is the table name my register insert into my register values i'm going to pass eight values so i'll write 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 eight question marks over here delimited by comma right so this is the sql statement model class object is already built fine so complaint is dao mbc cannot be resolved to a type so create class dao mbc in package 
DAO then create this method register fine so this register method will be created inside this register method we are returning integer so let us return one integer i from here fine in between this I will require a connection class object that I'll get from the method connect fine so we'll create another method inside this class so first add this package java.skill for this connection class and then create method connect fine so I can cut it from here and edit here right now this method returns connection class object so connection class object con it is returning this object right so for now this object is not available it is null right now so I will go for class dot for name com dot ibm dot db2 dot jcc dot db2 driver make sure uh, this is case sensitive so this db and d is capital rest of the string is in small letters right I'll surround this within try catch right once we are connected then we can get a connection by calling driver manager dot get connection method now this requires a URL username and a password so URL is jdbc colon db2 colon slash slash localhost on port number 50,000 I want to connect to database my DB using this administrator and its password put a semicolon again a complaint so add this to surrounding try add a catch close to surrounding try fine after this we can give a marker so if any error persist will at least come to know like this much of code is running or not fine so here I'll get the connection once I got the connection I can go for con dot prepare statement SQL we are already kept with us fine this will give me prepared statement class object ps right this throws another exception so we will add try catch over here <coughs> now here I need to set all the strings so for first question mark reading my SQL that is what this SQL reading my SQL from left to right for first question mark I want value of username how do I come to know that because in my table my register username is the first field fine and we are inserting in all the rows uh, uh, all the columns of the table so I can go for m dot get uname here fine similarly for question mark for second question mark third question mark fourth fifth sixth seventh and eighth question mark we need some of the values so for second question mark I need value of password for third question mark I want value of f name then I want value of l name here I want value of email right then I want value of security question then I want value of say answer and at last I want value of phone right so all the values are set then we can go for ps dot execute update now this method execute update it returns one integer and we had already created one that the same we are returning fine so I'll keep this in returning i because this i am returning from here right so when I come to the method who is calling here in return we will get some integer right so I can go for if i is not equals to 0 fine just print it 
that value inserted else we'll go for value not inserted there could be any reason for that right so let me check if there is any value into the table yes there is so i'll remove these values commit it right and we'll try to insert the values again so i'll go to my jsp page and run the jsp page now make sure to run the jsp page not the servlet otherwise you'll get error 405 right so i want to insert this username and this password re-enter password first name last name email fine your pet name and phone number right let us register will give me the caution that is what value inserted fine so this is how you can insert value using a music architect